Windows and doors are predefined models in libraries that can be placed as instances into Bonsai 3D objects, and they automatically subtract a hole in the object. Here we show a few predefined windows and doors that come with Bonsai 3D, which are placed from the components pellet. As we spin the view to the back side, you can see that a hole is automatically created in the model. Since windows and doors are similar to components, it is recommended to watch the components video tutorial first for a better understanding of how to place, create, and edit components. In this Banzai 3D tutorial, we'll look at the Place window and the Create window tools, which are located in the Specialties suite of icons. We'll also take a look at the Reposition window tool, which lets you move a window or a door and its associated hole in one operation. Let's begin by selecting the Rectangle Drawing tool, and we'll choose the 3D wall icon, and we'll extrude an object for a wall. Select the Place Window tool. Then in the Components palette, be sure the Window Door tab is selected. Then select a door from the Door Library. Now click on a face of the object and the door is placed parallel to that face on that object. Select the Windows Library. Choose a window and then click on the face of the object again to place a window. Use the Move tool and move the door and window from the wall and observe that a hole is automatically subtracted from the object when placing doors and windows. Please note that if we use the Move tool on a window, the associativity of the window with the wall is lost. If we want to move the window and maintain the associativity with the wall, then we need to use the Reposition Window tool instead. Undo the previous move. Select the Reposition Window tool then drag the door to a new location and observe that the hole follows. We'll do the same with the window. When repositioning a door or a window, you can select the Copy icon in the Tool Options palette to make a copy if desired. There's only one option in the Tool Options palette when placing windows and doors, which is the Mirror option. This option is useful when placing asymmetric windows such as this partial arched window. First, we place the window with this option off. Then we place the same window with this option on. We can change the parameters of a placed window using the same technique used for components. Pick the window with a Pick tool and select the Parameters tab in the Tool Options palette. For example, we can change the mirror parameter if needed. And we can replace this window with a new window by dragging and dropping a different window from the Components palette onto the icon in the Tool Options palette. And the window is replaced. Let's examine the associativity between the window and the object they are placed into. For example, if we use the Delete tool to delete the wall, the windows are deleted also because they are associated with the wall. Undo that operation and now delete a single window. And the hole disappears because the hole in the wall is associated with the window. You can disable this associativity by either moving the window with a Move tool or ungrouping the window. This is accomplished by right-clicking on the window and choosing Ungroup. This separates the window into its individual parts and there's no longer a link between the window and the wall. So now, if you delete the wall, then the window remains. Or if you undo that, and if you delete the window parts, then the hole remains.